Brazil exports more cattle and beef than any country in the world, and most of it comes from the state of Mato Grosso, an area twice as large as the size of Spain. The problem, however, is that the cattle industry is cutting into the Amazon to create new pasture to fulfill the world demand. Thirty years ago, the town of Alta Floresta was nothing but dense Amazon forest, but the town has gone through an agricultural revolution common in this region. Alta Floresta started with mining gold, then the loggers came. Now, with no trees, we need the cattle to survive. Slaughterhouses like this one kill over 4,000 cattle a week. The meat is to be shipped to places like China, Europe, and the Middle East. And now in Brazil, there is huge demand for more open land to feed the cattle industry. Since the dense vegetation of the Amazon might seem like a natural barrier to the expansion of cattle ranches, but when it comes to a multi-billion dollar industry, nothing becomes a barrier. I'm on the edge of the Amazon rainforest and signs of deforestation here have already occurred. As you can see from logs like this, low-lying vegetation has already been burned. It's likely a year from now, this place could be gone. Loggers cut down the most valuable trees for profit. Then they light the area on fire, clearing the land further, making way for the grasslands that the cattle need. The cattle industry likes to refer to the process of deforestation simply as opening the forest. Our economy is based on cattle ranching. With the opening of the forest, the planting of grasslands, and the creation of cattle farms, we have all the factors in our favor. The cattle industry wants to make as much profit as possible which here stands in stark contrast to environmental interests. It's cheaper for the cattle ranchers to cut new forests than invest in grassland areas for their cattle, and I don't see that changing. So it's going to be a big challenge to change the pattern of deforestation in the Amazon. Brazil's agricultural industry sees no sign of slowing, just the opposite. Brazil is the world's largest exporter of meat, chicken, sugar, ethanol, soya, coffee, oranges and tobacco, but we have the potential to double the area of land we are cultivating. The paradox now facing Brazil is how not to also double deforestation along the way. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, Alta Floresta, Brazil. Let's get more on this. We're joined live from Sao Paulo by Tim Kalman from the Bio Studio Environmental Services uh, Group. Uh, Tim, the Amazon rainforest has become has been a cause celebre for ages now. It's almost become a cliche, and yet the the rainforest is still being cut down at an alarming rate. Is there any hope? Uh, I think there is hope. Yeah, I think there's uh, pressure internationally now uh, that is working with economic forces to try and create value within inside the forest. Uh, presently, obviously, it's, it's more economically feasible for, for people to cut down the forest for beef, as we just saw in the report. Uh, but there is pressure internationally to try and create funds internationally to create credit inside the forest uh, to allow people a viable option not to chop down the forest, but actually keep the forest on the feet, as they say in Brazil. So this is using carbon credits, is it? Explain how that system works and indeed whether the government accepts that it will work. Yeah, so the carbon credits is, uh, there's a new scheme, that's a new methodology that's on the market with regard to carbon credits, both the voluntary market and within the clean development mechanism of the United Nations. And basically, the scheme is to look at the carbon which is, has been sequestrated, which is stored inside the forest, and give a value towards that, that, that tonnage of carbon. People pay for that carbon to ensure that the forest is not chopped down. Now the government has been against this scheme because it believes that independent schemes alone will not solve the problem. So the government is really pushing itself, uh, have we seen, as we've seen today with the launch of the Amazon Sustainable Plan, as the regulator of the forest. Agribusiness is clearly quite important, as we saw in that report to, to Brazil. It's important in the U.S. They're, they're very important uh, and in political circles in Washington. Why should Brazil be any different? No, uh, I think that there is enough pressure within the international community to not allow the Amazon to be deforested. So it's an uh, it's, uh, ironic situation really that as the world looks towards the carbon that is stored inside the forest uh, with regards to climate change problems, at the same time the world is also looking and putting more pressure on Brazilian land uh, for, for beef, for cattle and for biofuel production as well, which is also a growing industry both in the States and Europe. But I believe that, that there is hope. 
and uh, I think that the climate change is really the key and the international pressure on the Brazilian government to solve the Amazon question with regard to climate change. Tim Carman, thank you very much. Thank you.